lessons. You're all very, you're all very, very welcome. Especially the new ones, if there are any new ones on here, you're really welcome to our group. So we will start with, on this lovely sunny day, we will start with our act of contrition. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And we pray all these words, Lord, all these prayers with your will and in the name of everyone. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Provenient act. Jesus, with the dawn of each new day, through your dearest mother Mary, I renew my acceptance of this gift. And I thank you with all my heart and soul. I live every moment in your divine will. Jesus, I desire to enter into you and be one with you. I take what I find in you. Jesus, I find in you my own life and the lives of everyone from Adam to the last one to be created, which you have perfectly redone in your divinity. And I offer them to the Father with you for his glory and a perfect return of love. Amen. My Jesus, in your loving providence, you allowed us to learn that your kingdom is now coming on out. We can enter into this kingdom. And this is what I wish to do with all my heart. I want your divine will to reign in me all day long as it did in paradise, in Adam and Eve, as it did in your home in Nazareth, in Mary, with Joseph. I want your divine will to reign in me as it did in Louisa, the firstborn of the divine will at these times. I want to, you to animate all that I do, to think my thoughts, speak my words, do my actions. I want the divine will to have complete freedom in my humanity, so that at every moment of this day and night, your holy will may be done in me to give you all the love, adoration, praise, thanksgiving, honour, glory and reparation on behalf of the human race, especially on behalf of those who do not yet know that they can enter into the kingdom of your divine will. Amen. Ever holy and indivisible Trinity, I adore you profoundly. I love you intensely. I thank you perpetually for all and in the hearts of all. Amen. Daily prayer to the Heavenly Queen for the month of May. Immaculate Queen, my Heavenly Mother, I come upon your maternal lap as your dear child to abandon myself in your arms and to entreat you for the most ardent tithe in this month consecrated to you the greatest grace of all. May you dispose me to live in the kingdom of the divine will. Holy Mother, as the queen of this kingdom, dispose me, your child, to live in it, so that it may no longer be deserted, but filled with your children. I entrust myself to you, my sovereign queen, that you may guide my steps into the kingdom of the divine will. Held tightly by your maternal hand, guide my whole being to live the unending life of the divine will. May you be a mother to me. I shall offer to you, my mother, my own will, so that you may make it completely submissive to the divine will. And I'll be sure never to leave its kingdom. So I entreat you to illuminate me and make me understand what the will of God means. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Daily aspiration of the month. In the morning and at midday and the evening, that is three times a day, let us climb upon the lap of our Heavenly Mother and say, My Mother, I love you. Love me too. Crease in my soul the will of God. Grant me your blessing also, so that I may do all my actions under your maternal gaze. Day 18. The Virgin Mary in the house of Nazareth. Heaven and earth are about to exchange the kiss of peace. The divine hour draws near. My sovereign mother, here I am again to follow in your footsteps. Your love binds me and like a powerful magnet keeps me fixed and completely attentive to your beautiful motherly lessons. But this is not enough. If you love me as your child, you must enclose me in the kingdom of the divine will in which you live and do live and shut the doors in such a way that even if I wanted to, I would not be able to leave. In this way, just like a child with its mother, we live a life in common and we'll both be happy. My dearest child, if you knew how I long to keep you enclosed within the kingdom of the divine will, each one of my lessons acts as a wall that I erect to impede your footsteps from exiting this kingdom. It is a fortress that encloses your will so that you may love and understand how to submit yourself to the sweet reign of the supreme fiat. Therefore, listen attentively to what I say, as these lessons are the fruit of your loving mother who seeks to attract and captivate your will, so that you may allow the divine will to conquer you. Now, my dear child, listen closely to what your tender mother wishes to tell you. I left the temple with the same courage with which I entered it and only to do the divine will. I went to Nazareth and no longer found my dear and holy parents. I went alone, accompanied by Saint Joseph, and I saw in him my good angel whom God had given me for my custody. I had cohorts of angels that accompanied me on the journey and all created things bowed to me in my honour and I thanked them by giving each created thing my kiss and my greeting as queen. And we arrived at Nazareth. Saint Joseph and I looked at each other with modesty and we felt our hearts filled with the loving desire to tell each other that we were both bound to God with a vow of perpetual virginity. Finally, the silence was broken and we revealed our vows to each other. Oh, how elated we were. We thanked the Lord and promised to live together as brother and sister. I was most attentive in serving him and we looked at each other with veneration. The dawn of peace reigned in our midst. Oh, how happy all souls would be if they reflected their lives in me by patterning themselves after me. In many ways, I adapted myself to the common lifestyle. I did not reveal to others the great seas of grace I possessed interiorly. Now, listen closely to what your tender mother wishes to tell you, my child. In the house of Nazareth, 
I was inflamed with love more than ever and prayed for the divine word to come to earth. The divine will that reigned in me invested all my acts with light, beauty, sanctity and power. I felt it forming the reign of light within me but a light that constantly arises and forms the ever-expanding kingdom of beauty sanctity and power therefore all the divine qualities the divine fiat infused in me by virtue of its reign in my soul engendered within me the divine fruition the divine light of the sun of the divine will that envel enveloped me was so great that embellishing and investing my humanity, it continuously produced heavenly flowers in my soul. I felt the heavens lower themselves to me as the earth of my humanity arose within them. So in me, heaven and earth embraced were reconciled and exchanged the kiss of peace and love. By this means, the earth disposed itself to produce the seed of the just one, the holy one, and the heavens prepared to open up to let the divine word descend into its chosen seed. I continually ascended to my heavenly homeland and descended to earth, casting myself into the paternal arms of my heavenly father and saying to him from my heart, Holy Father, I cannot wait any longer. My heart is inflamed and set ablaze with love. I feel a powerful force in me wanting to win you over, whence I cry out, Father, with my chains of love, I wish to bind and compel you to no longer delay. On the wings of love, I entreat you to send the divine word from heaven to earth. And I cried and implored him to heed my prayer. And the divinity, conquered by my tears and prayers, reassured me by saying, Daughter, who can resist you? You have won. The divine hour is near. Return to earth and continue your acts in the power of my will. For through them, all creation to its depths will be moved and heaven and earth will exchange the kiss of peace. But despite this, I did not yet know that I was to be the mother of the eternal word. Now, my child, listen closely to what your tender mother wishes to tell you and understand well what it means to live in the divine will. By living in the divine will, I formed the heavens and its divine kingdom within my soul. Had I not formed this kingdom within me, the word would never have descended from heaven to earth. The only reason he descended was because he was able to descend into his own kingdom, which the divine will had established within me. He found in me his heaven and his divine joys. Indeed, the word would never have descended into a foreign kingdom, not at all. For this reason, he first wanted to form his kingdom within me and then descend into it as a conqueror. What is more, by living always in the divine will, I acquired by grace what God is by nature. Without any human intervention, God's divine fruition formed within me the seed that would enable the human nature of the eternal word to germinate in me. What can the divine will operating in a creature not do? It can do everything. It can achieve all possible and imaginable goods. May you take this teaching to heart. 
and may you accomplish everything in the divine will. By imitating me, your mother, you will make my happiness and joy complete. Holy Mother, you can obtain from God everything you ask. Just as you had the power to win God over, to the point of making him descend from heaven to earth, so you have the power to win over my will, so that it may no longer have a life of its own. I trust in you, and am confident that I will obtain everything from you. Today, to honour me, come and visit me for a little while in the house of Nazareth. Offer me all your acts in homage, so that I may unite them to mine and convert them into the divine will. Heavenly Empress, impress the kiss of the will of God upon my soul. 